had a big head, rounded ears, six feet in the body maybe, with a very, very long tail, very muscular build. As it was walking, it was, it was still looking at me, and that's when I really panicked. It looked at me and thought, oh, oh, there's a human there, I'm not scared. You say, well, I've seen this big cat, and some people just flatly refuse. They think that Britain's such a sweet little island, we shouldn't have predators that size. I heard this growl behind me, nothing like a dog's growl. And just like anything else in life, you're sat on your own there, I don't care who you are, how brave you are, something like that will put the shivers up your spine. As she was walking before the cub came out, she flicked this tail. She literally flicked it in the air. And I simply could not believe what I was seeing. It was the most extraordinary feeling. It threw its head back, he said, and it made this sort of round. But when you actually realise that there are big cats living in Britain, it changes everything. Welcome to Big Cat Conversations. We speak directly to people who've encountered one of Britain's big cats. We also discuss the bigger picture. Why are unofficial big cats being seen and could these cats even be naturalising without us knowing? If you've had a big cat encounter in Britain, and would like to discuss it, email me at rick at bigcatconversations.com. You can find other episodes on the website bigcatconversations.com. I'm Rick Minter, and thanks for joining me.